And it could, man. Mr. Armani could, man. I'm going to keep it a little low. People trying to sleep and shit. People just want to sleep. So I'm just up late in the morning. Just trying to... Just, you know, I'm always in my thoughts a lot, bro. So I'm about to start just having videos when I just... Just talking about the topics that's, like, on my mind at the moment. I don't want to sit down and wait and do the video because then I might forget some key points that I'm trying to pinpoint when I come and talk to you, make these videos for y'all. So, like I said, I keep my promise. I'm going to be consistent. I try to be as consistent as possible because uh, I've been I've been working so hard. I do burnouts on my channel. So, I post all week. And then that one day when I just physically and mentally just can't do it no more, okay, I'm like, all right, I'm going to relax this day. Feel me? So it's a burnout. I work, I work until I burn out. So I don't have no days off. I just work when I burn out. So, you know, I brainstorm the days off. I ain't got to really get too much into it, but I'm just stalling. But this video, we're going to be talking about consistency. Okay? Consistency. First of all, consistency, you only can be consistent when you're dead. That's the only thing is consistent. You can't be consistent in life. You don't know where life is going to take you. Life don't even know where it's going to take you. You just experience shit. Like, a lot of shit wasn't really meant for you, but it just came your way, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all, a lot of y'all don't feel me. Like, y'all hear me, but y'all don't feel me. You feel me? You can't be consistent, bro. You choose to be consistently broke is your problem. It's your choice. Nobody's forcing you to be consistently broke. You is. You the only person. You the only person that got control fully over your life. Don't matter what you're going through or what you complain about and what's holding you back. You think it's holding you back, but it's in reality... It's just grooming you so when you have the money, when you have the power you want, when you have the shit you always wanted, it's going it's going to mature you to when you get to that level. You'll be like, okay, I know what to do with it when I got this. You go through a lot of life situations for a reason at a young age because when you get older, you move totally the opposite. You don't do what you was most likely grow up and your family was doing that, that was keeping them poor. They know they're doing it, but they don't give a fuck. And that, that kind of, it kind of fuck with you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's kind of like my situation. What I'm going through right now, once I get my money and, you know, and all that shit, everything I'm chasing for, I'm not moving like this. This is, the, I see the stupidest decisions behind closed doors because I'm there on that table and I'm providing too. I see the stupidest decisions ever. I'm not making them decisions, bro. Because if it's a decision that my family struggling, keep my family poor, I'm not doing it. But I know what I am doing. This is why. Y'all got to have a... Th I was talking to Pops about this earlier. Okay, my Pops a little older. All right. I was talking to my Pops about this earlier. I said, this this very rich guy, successful guy said, if you take one year of your life and you just do the cutoff, you cut off all the, the external spending and all that, you just get shit you need, food, water, uh, bathing products, and that's pretty much it. Make sure you straight, you got gas in your car, da, 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 pay your bills, and that's it. You save that little extra 500, 400, 300, whatever dollars, and you just do that. One year of that will change your life forever. You make sure you invest in your stocks, you doing all that, you build your credit up, you do all that, and you cut off all that external spending. No fast food, none of that bullshit, none of these bullshit products, none of this, no alcohol, no, no weed, none of that. One year of that, Will change your life forever. Maybe that method be a little be for a lot of people. And I don't recommend shit to people because look, you have to find that, bro. It don't matter what I what I recommend to you. If you don't experience a little bit of life, bro, you can't have anything. So I get I understand why guys like Andrew Tate and other guys they make programs for to get these kids a, a lot of money. But if they never had that much money or they, or they never been poor or they never been to a lot of life situations, they don't know what to do with that money. No matter what them guys tell them, invest your money, invest that. They're not going to understand you until some shit in their life personally happen, bro. So what them, what them kids doing? They blowing that money. They doing all type of shit. They doing whatever they want. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. You're young. Yeah, you, yeah, you is young. You feel me? But what I'm mainly saying is you don't know what's going to happen from a year from now. I don't know what's going to happen five years from now, but what I know is we making it. We making it. But I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because look, bro, nothing is consistent. Consistency, only thing is consistent is a dead person. And I'm not saying that to disrespect the dead. I'm saying that because it's the truth. You can't do nothing when you're dead. So you guys here over here broke now, you don't have nothing now, and you feel like you're stuck like that forever. You're thinking like a dead person, bro. You can't think like that. 
you could be like, okay, I'm stuck right now. But what if I put these extra coins to the side, which is money, and I, I, I flip some, I flip some ways, you know, get me, get me invested to this and that, and that, and that, and that and third, boom, 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 and then I stack up this amount of money, like six, seven bands, boom, quit your job, you grind the fuck out what you're doing for about like six bands or the last you would. If you spend strategically and uh. Calculate and know what you're doing. That could last you about potentially seven, eight months. Six minutes. Yes, it will. People are like, well, bro, my spiritual habit is expensive. You got to cut all that bullshit off. Nigga, if you smoke weed, you got you to gotta stop that shit for a year. If you drink it, you got to stop that shit for a year. Nigga, all you need is all you need is clothes, which you most likely already got. You need bathing products. That's already that's all you got. You need food and water. That's it. You don't need nothing else. If you're growing, you're paying bills, well, just save up enough money to pay rent for a year. And then, nigga, whatever you're doing, you got to sacrifice that and you got to cut that off and grind for a fucking year. I guarantee your life will change forever. 12 months. Give it some time. You streaming? Okay. Save up. Save up. If you got your own spot, save up enough rent for, for about like two years. For only one year that you about to cut that shit off and stream for a whole year. Grind. I'm giving y'all free game. I'm giving y'all free free game, bro. Most a lot of y'all make a hundred k a year. You know what you end up with at the end of the year? Zero. Cause you're not you're not spending right. You're not doing nothing right. I'm not saying it's like I'm perfect. I'm waking y'all up. This is why you poor. This is why when shit come around, come your way, you continually be poor. Cause as soon as you get the money, you gotta you gotta get that. But if you already had the money, you pay that, then you get your whole check. You feel me? You're not thinking. Be be strategic, bro. Only thing that's consistent is dead. You don't gotta be consistently broke, it's a choice. Y'all do y'all, bro. 100, bro. Stop thinking like that poor guy, bro. Get that poor mindset, bro. Everybody around you wanna be fat fucks, wanna be lazy, wanna eat junk food all day, wanna keep saying, oh, well, we're poor, This is we just gotta accept it. No, nigga, fuck that. If, oh, think about it, all the famous rich guys, all the YouTubers you know, we just accept them like, yeah, I'm poor and I can't do nothing about that and stay where they at. Where would they be at? Working at fucking Starbucks, nigga. Making that, that making that rich white dude's latte. Making that rich black guy's latte. Making that rich Mexican's latte. Making, you feel what I'm saying? You want to be the nigga to make the latte or you want to be the motherfucking ordering the latte? Which one you want to be, nigga, at this point? That's all it is to it. It's nothing else to it, bro. Nothing else to life. Pull up in a nice Corvette. Ordering the latte, nigga. With that badass chick next to you. Or you wanna be that motherfucker that works at Starbucks, got a white, you gotta you gotta be with a woman you don't fucking like. Just for you to make sure you got your wants and needs, and you end up having kids with this lady, you end up marrying this lady, you really don't wanna be with her. Which nigga are you gonna be? You gonna be that boss nigga? Or you gonna be that that worker? That have, that have that mindset that, oh, I could never be nothing. You poison by your family. You poison by what everybody say to you. Which motherfucker will you be? It's your faith. You're not consistent, motherfucker. You're not dead. If you're watching this video, you're not dead. You're not dead. That's the only thing that's consistent. You could do whatever you want, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You could do whatever the fuck you want. Stop letting this world break you, nigga. Stop smoking. Stop vaping. Stop fucking drinking. Stop hitting shots. Stop doing all that shots. Stop, stop drinking. Stop doing all that stupid shit. For what? What are you doing it for? Nigga, stop here 16 smoking cigarettes. What the fuck you smoking a cigarette for, nigga? Stop doing all this goofy shit, nigga. Find yourself. Learn, nigga. Pick up a book. Go watch videos on wealth, nigga. Go watch videos how to get wealthy. Go watch watch podcasts. Listen to podcasts. Learn about non-profit. Learn about profit. Learn about taxes. Learn about, nigga, learn about credit. Learn about everything, dick. Learn about that. Learn about everything, nigga. This life is too short for you to be fucking up your 20s. Oh, because what's that, what your mom told you? Your mom not rich. So why are you listening to her, bro? She don't know nothing about money, nigga. All she knows is that she had to go work for it. 40 years of her fucking life slaving away. 30 years, 60 years of her life slaving away at some job. And get a, a $1,000 get a thousand dollar check every month. Nigga, come on, bro. You want that life for yourself, bro? 
You want to retire to the fucking Kroger's? If you is, you make me sick to my fucking stomach, nigga, because you don't got the balls enough to make enough money for your family, bro. You being a Kroger manager, nigga. Yeah, and nigga, I don't even think you get paid 14 an hour. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm being dead ass because I don't even know. I don't care if you get paid 20 an hour, bro. You're a nobody, bro. And I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. I'm saying it like to your kids. You're a nobody. If you're out your, I guarantee if you're out your kid's life, they won't even give a fuck about you, nigga. I'm not lying. And I'm not saying this to be discreet or be raw. I'm saying this is true, bro. Some niggas didn't hear the real life truth. All this cookie cutter shit they put on the internet is making y'all niggas soft. Making y'all niggas feel okay that it's okay to work a nine to five and you not doing, you ain't got nothing going on for yourself at this current moment. I'm not knocking a nine to five because if it wasn't for a nine to five, I wouldn't be feeling my family right now. I'm saying, for a simple fact, don't plan to work there forever though. You better a year or two get your shit together, boom. It's grind time. It's time to make it, bro. Fuck all that bullshit, dog. Y'all niggas be, bro. Y'all niggas be safe, man. I just want to wake my niggas up, man. I'm not perfect. There ain't nobody perfect, nigga. I'm just a regular nigga with a... Bro, I'm just a nigga. I'm just a nigga with faith and a go. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody do. You can't take nothing. You can't take nothing away from me, bro. When you got a lot to gain and nothing to lose, you don't give a fuck about nothing. And that's just the truth, bro. You got a lot to gain, but nothing to lose. You got a lot to lose, but nothing to gain. That's a lot of you motherfuckers. You never lost in your life, nigga. And I can brag about that. Because the nigga, the motherfucker that lost, the motherfucker that tried. So you never lost in your life. You never tried at nothing. You gave up before the shit even got hard. So, oh, well, this feel kind of hard. It's like working out. That's why a lot of these fat fucking slobs uh, resist working out. Because when you work out, it starts to get hard, ain't it? Your body starts to ache it. Your muscles start to, start to tighten up. Well, I don't think this is natural. No, when the fuck it was not natural, you sitting on the couch 24 hours a day, not doing shit, while your woman in the, in the, in the house cleaning, going to work and shit, and you sitting on her couch, being a fat fuck, not doing shit with your life. You work a nine to five, four days off in a row. You work three days, work five days, four days. I don't give a fuck how much you work. If you ain't got nothing eternally going on, what values you bring it to that chick? I'm being honest. I might start asking that. I might start saying that to you niggas. Because I, I know I'll make you mad. I'm doing that so I can motivate you. And get out here and do something. You're not breaking no value to her. So what the fuck she with you for? What is she with you for? You ain't breaking no value to her. She bringing value to you, nigga. All she have to do is bring the box. And you niggas start running like you zombies. That's all they got to bring to you niggas. Fucking sick, nigga. You make me sick. A lot of you niggas make me sick. You got no ambition. You got no, you got no integrity. You ain't got nothing for yourself, nigga. You ain't got no self-respect for your fucking self. I get disrespected. You let these people disrespect y'all. They can't respect you. They can't even look at you the same. These bitches be looking at y'all like y'all squares. Or she just fuck you just because she ain't got nothing else better to do herself. You feel me? I ain't stop me disrespecting females. Disrespecting that chick that mess with you because you ain't got shit going on for yourself. You feel me? That's what they say, man. The only thing consistent is dead. And I say that this whole through this whole video because it's true. A dead person can't do nothing but what? Sit there. They're consistent. You're dead every single day, every New Year's, every Sunday, every Monday, every Thursday, every Friday. They can't do nothing. They're dead. They sit there. But you're not dead, bro. You can make it out, bro. All this bullshit I'm just talking to you just for you to wake up. Realize that life is not over. It's just begin. God! I love y'all. Y'all stay, stay safe, man. I'm not even that type of nigga, bro. But the truth gotta be said. I mind my business. I do what I gotta do. I grind like a motherfucker. But I just wanna always make sure y'all got this message for y'all to look at and replay so you get the reality, the hard truth. Life not easy, nothing easy. Keep your head up, keep your posture up. Just walk through it, bro. Promise you, man, at the, at the end of the day, dirt tunnel, man, it's gonna be a light, big ass burning light. It's gonna have everything you ever want. The money, the cars, the girls, your weed, 
all that shit. Just sacrifice that year or two, bro. Uh, not doing shit and not getting nothing. Just making sure you straight save up uh, all the money you fucking can at your nine to five or your side hustle, bro. The Uber. I know, I know a lot of niggas doing Uber full time. Save up as much money as you can after bills, after food, after all that shit. After all the shit you personally really need to survive every day in and day out. Save, do, spend all that shit on there and save every other penny. Invest, invest your money and save. Have a savings account and invest your money. People don't understand. People don't be clear. So the first thing you do when you get paid, invest like $30, $40, $20, however much your income is. I, don't, I can't, I don't know your pockets. I only know my pockets. I know personally I do $30. $30 in the stocks every time you get paid. Buy like a couple of honey in the savings. Pay your bills. Pay out all the shit you need to pay out. Boom. That's it. Don't touch nothing. Feel me? Don't touch nothing. That's it. God.